Welcome back to our Hugging Face series. In the previous videos, I have already covered multiple ways to run Hugging Face models. Now in this particular video, I will show you how to run any Hugging Face model locally into your system. And for that, we will set up Olama in our system. Because in the last video, I have already covered the steps to run these models without using Olama. Now to set up Olama, first of all, we will go to the Olama's official website, which is this olama.com. Now on this home page itself, we will click on this download button and here we will have these three options Mac OS, Linux and Windows. So we will select the corresponding operating system. For me, it is Mac. So I will go ahead with Mac OS and click on this download for Mac OS. And even if you have Linux or Windows, then also the installation steps are pretty straightforward. It is finished now. So now we will go to the location where it is downloaded. So this is the downloaded file. We will unzip this and now double click on this application file. Click on open here. I'll say move to applications. Now click on next and then finally click on this install. Now here we need to provide the password of our local machine and click on OK. The installation is finished now. Now here at the last it will show us one sample command to get started with Olama. And this command has three parts, olama, run and at the last this is the name of the model. So this command will pull this llama 3.2 model into our local system. In fact, we can pull and run any model using this command. We just have to change this last part of this command. So whatever model we will put here as the last part, it will download and run that particular model into our system. You will understand this better in a while when I will show you the demo. So for now, let's copy this command from here and we will click on this finish now. Now to run this command, we will open the terminal. So command and space and type terminal. Let's maximize this. And here I'll paste that copied command. Let's now hit enter. So it is now pulling up all the files of this llama 3.2 model. And if you are downloading the model for the first time, then it is going to take quite considerable time. So you need to be patient here. So finally it is finished now. Now our llama model is ready to take our prompts. So let's start with hi. So we got the response from llama 3.2 model which is how can I assist you today. So finally the model is running in our local system now. Now one important thing here is that it remembers the context of previous conversation in the current session and accordingly it provides the answers to us. So let me show you this thing with the help of one demo. So I will ask what is the capital of India. So here it gave us the answer the capital of India is New Delhi which is correct. Now if I ask tell me top 5 tourist places in that. Ok so if you notice here I did not mention about the city in my prompt. Now let's hit enter and submit the prompt. Now again if you observe here, it gave me the tourist places of New Delhi only. Even though we did not mention about New Delhi in our prompt. So it understood from the previous conversation here and it concluded that I am talking about New Delhi itself. Which is very nice and useful. Now to exit from this session, we will type slash BYE. So we are out of that session now. Let's say now we want to download some other model. So we will again go to the Olama's website and here let's say we want to run JAMA2 model which is provided by Google. So first of all we will click on this models here. Now in this search bar we will search for JAMA. So this is the model let's click on this. So here you will see this command which is similar to the last one only the last part is different. This time we have JAMA2 instead of that LAMA3.2 and now one more thing here is that this particular model is available in three different sizes. This 2B, 9B and 27B. So this 9B is already selected by default. So if we run this particular command, then it will install this 9B variation of the model. But let's say instead of 9B, we want to install this 2B parameter model. So we will select this. Now we have this colon and 2B in this particular command. So we will copy this from here and again we will go to the terminal. And now on this terminal we will run that but before that let me clear the terminal and now I will paste that command. Now hit enter. 
Now this time it is pulling up all the files of JAMA2 model and in that too specifically it is pulling up the 2 billion variant of that. Now let's wait for a while until it is finished. So it is completed now. And here similar to Llama 3.2 we can have conversation with JAMA2 model now. So let's say hi again. So this time we are getting response from the JAMA2 model. Now let's exit from this as well. So I'll say forward slash then BYA. Now let's say we want to list down all the models which we have downloaded through Olama. So for that we will run Olama space list. And here we can see both the models the JAMA2 and Llama 3.2 are present here. Now let's say if we want to run any of the model from these then we have to run the same command which was Olama then run then the name of the model either the JAMA2 or the Llama 3.2. Now let's say if we want to delete some of the model from this list of downloaded models. So for that we will run olama then space then rm which is for remove and the name of the model which we want to delete. So let's say we want to delete this JAMA2 model. So we will copy this from here and we will paste it here. So we got the response that it has deleted this JAMA2 model. Now we again list the downloaded models. So again I will run that command olama space list. Then we can see the JAMA2 is not available here. Now if you want to learn more about olama and hugging face then do check out the hugging face playlist on the channel. I am sure you will get to learn a lot of things from those videos and you can also subscribe the channel for more such videos.